Hi, Amy here with another tech tip about iCloud Drive. So I'm going to show you what happens when you completely turn off iCloud Drive and what happens to your contents. In my other video, I only talked about desktop and documents, but iCloud Drive does store a whole bunch of other items. And if you do turn it off, um, here is what happens. So I'm clicking on System Preferences. And let's take a look at my iCloud settings. You will have an iCloud setting in other operating systems and then Catalina going forward, it's just called Apple ID. So I click here and here are my iCloud settings. I do have iCloud Drive turned on. If I look at options, I can see all the different things that are enabled here. When I turn off iCloud Drive, completely, I get the option to keep a copy on my Mac or remove it from the Mac. So if I wanted to keep everything in iCloud, I can just remove a copy from my computer and keep it in iCloud. This is helpful if you just ran out of storage and you need to temporarily remove everything from your computer, that's fine because it will be in iCloud. However, if you do have enough space on your computer, I would suggest keeping a copy just in case. So when I do that, it's creating an archive of everything stored in iCloud. And where would I find this iCloud Drive archive? I can go to Finder and then go, click on my home folder, and inside my home folder, now there's this iCloud Drive archive folder. So this has a copy of everything that I had stored in iCloud, and now it's in this other location where you may wanna go through and file those items. So that's pretty much it. If you do have other questions, let us know, and we can help you um, if you book an appointment with us online. Have a great day. See you next time.